Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans? And where the heck are the Albans? We're home, at least until we're vaccinated. Coming soon. Coming soon, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so um, you guys have been liking the cooking videos, which is great because I do cook and I'm always cooking dinners and it's just easy to uh, film them. But this time we are going to do like a brackets thing. We have these recipe cards. Bob's Burgers happens to be one of our very, very, very favorite shows. And they always have these joke burgers as their burger of the day. Like this. Free to breathe you and me. So they hired professional chefs to come along. And Lauren Burchard. Uh, Burchard. Bochard. Um, they tried them all, and these are the best ones. So we are going to figure out which one of the Bob's Burgers in this, in these recipe cards. And there's a bunch of them. Yeah, there's a whole lot of them. Are, is the best one. First one up, free to be, free to brie, you and me. Which is very fun. Um, of course there are some ones that have, uh, pork in them, but when we, when they have bacon, we'll use beef bacon for Matt. And I'm not a big fan of spicy, um, so we will figure it out at that point. Yeah, we might do something with like mild right. or chilies or something. So like that. here we go. We're going to start off free to brie you and me. I have this card here. I got a little schmutz on it. And then we have Ollie, Ollie and Andy. Back to you, Ollie. Back to you, Andy. <laughs> And uh, we have, uh, this is the recipe card. And we will we'll post that below. Yes. So you can make your very own free to brie you and me burger. So what we got to use here is I got a pound of ground sirloin, ground chuck, ground beef, whatever you want to use. Uh, brie cheese, a small round of brie cheese, some butter, some Worcestershire sauce. A large yellow onion, some artesian French rolls, and some, they call them sweet gherkins, but I'm going to go with the uh, Famous Dave's pickle chips. They're not dill, they're sweet, so you have a sweet. So we're going to start out by chopping up our tomato. Our tomato. tomato. <laughs> <laughs> onion. <laughs> We chopped our onion, but it does seem to be like a lot, a lot of onion. So, you know what? I'm going to I discard half of that. Well, not discard. I'll just save it for the next recipe. All right. I think we're doing uh, one that we could use. Um, so, we'll just use that much. And we're going to put our butter. in a pan low heat melt that at our onions and we're going to cook them on low heat for about 20 to 30 minutes okay let's get these all in there so these are going to caramelize so about you know 20 to 30 minutes. It does take a while because you want to get nice and brown but not burnt. Make big chunks. In. And that's why we cook them over low heat. Low and slow. And we'll turn that down. Alright. Then we have, we're going to get the rind off of our brie and, and cut that up into cubes. One of my all-time favorite types of cheese. Yes, brie is a lovely, lovely cheese. So let's cut this top off. So 
now we're going to cut it up into like one inch cubes. So. Ah, get off my finger. <laughs> okay, so about one inch in there. Pieces. Okay, so we're over here. We're gonna take our ground beef now, or our, our yeah, our, our beef. Um, I get I got a two pound package and I split it in half because next week when we do another burger, we're gonna use. So that's why it's in a ziploc. So we have our burgers, and you're gonna season it with Worcestershire sauce, and that is. Three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. So Matt doesn't like when I don't measure, so we'll measure this out. One, two, three. Three tablespoons. And we're gonna mix that all together and we're gonna form four patties. So let's get this all mixed together. Making burgers and meatloaf and all kinds of stuff is exhaust is messy. Makes your hands disgusting. All right, let's see. Let's get this padded out. Using her ninja skills, okay. cutting with her hand. That's about right, right? Yeah. That was good. Yeah. All right. So you're basically going to wind up with four patties. Four quarter pound patties. Right, and it's a how it's a pound, yeah. So, and we are going to form the patties around a piece of brie. So we could probably do, what, two pieces of brie per burger? Nope. We're going to do the one, and then the rest of the brie goes on top. Oh, okay. Look at that. So let me get a plate. Get one of our fancy paper plates. Will do. Just want to let you know that Matt's mom buys paper plates by the gross. So she <laughs> always gives us a million paper plates, even though... We don't really ask for them, so we always get a, a billion paper plates, so we use them. <laughs> Plus, I don't like doing dishes. I don't know about you all, but our dishwasher broke, and I hate it. So, we're going to... I don't know about you guys, but Bob's Burgers is probably, it's my, it's my anxiety show. Do you guys have one of those? It's a show that you watch when you get anxiety. And then you, it gets rid of your anxiety. Yeah. And it helps you, especially in the middle of the night. Like, Matt's a very, Matt's got to have, um. Pure silence. Pure silence and pretty much darkness on his, uh on his uh sleeping and if i wake up in the middle of the night i can't turn off my brain unfortunately so i have to watch something so i always have my phone and I keep it turned out really low because thank god he is deaf in one ear so he usually sleeps on the side that he's deaf on <laughs> or he can hear on so then he has silence and um i bob's burgers always helps me calms me down lets me get back to sleep and I'm part of a Facebook book group, and they're all the same way. All right, we're going to salt and pepper these. Okay. 
I gotta show you this what my mom gave me. Look, a dash. A tad is a qu quarter teaspoon. A pinch is one sixteenth of a teaspoon. A smidgen is one thirty-two, one thirty-two, and a drop is one sixteenth. I don't use them. I think they're adorable though, and they just go there. Okay, pepper. Okay, let's flip them over. I've got to do both sides. <laughs> Duh, let's flip them all over, Beck. All right. These are seasoned. Our onions are onioning. <laughs> and we're going to cook up our burgers. We pulled out our electric griddle because it's most like a like a like a Bob's Burgers like a, a grill. Burger joint. Yeah, yeah a grill. Burger griddle. So, we're going to slap our burgers onto here. Uh, you want to put the temperature on about 325 if you have one of these. You can uh, make them in a skillet. Of course. You can make them on a grill. Make them however you make burgers. Yeah, however you like to make burgers the best. So, but uh, still a little cold for the grill outside. So. <laughs> it still has snow on it. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to do them indoors right here. True Chicagoans, it wouldn't matter if it had snow on it, but... Yeah. We're not big grillers anyway. But. So how uh, long do these stay on? Back about six minutes aside? Sure. Like I said, cook the burgers like you like them. Matt is usually the burger cooker, so I'm going to take his advice and I'm going to put this skillet over this so I can uh, trap in some heat. And, and it, uh, it helps cook the burgers a little more evenly. There you go. So there you go. And uh, just to show you, ev uh, show everybody, uh, Becky is wearing her official Bob's Burger shirt. Because there's a t-shirt for every occasion. That's right. And there it is. That is awesome. All right, let's flip these bad boys. Woo, look at that. Not searing like you told me not to. Yeah, never sear your burgers. It takes a lot of the flavor out. Ooh, hot. So we like our burgers medium, so that's why it's six minutes per side. Uh, six minutes per side will make you, uh, uh, make you a medium burger. So we're putting our caramelized onions on the burgers. This is the way the instructions actually tell you to build the burger. Onions yep. on the bottom bun. And then the burger will go on top of this. Yes. Okay. At the five minute mark. So it still has a minute left to cook. We're going to put, oh, the cheese gets so, our pieces of brie, brie on top. Duh, thank you so much. <laughs> I get concentrating and then I can't talk. I'm trying to get the cheese off my fingers. Cover these up for one more minute. One more minute. Uh oh, you stay on it, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at all that just yummy brie goodness. Okay, so. Take this and put it in the sink. And we'll turn it off. Off. Okay. Turn off our thing. Then we put on our burger on our bun. Top it off. They say sweet gherkins. I say 
sweet pickles, sweet spicy pickles. And another bun. Okay. And we're going to get Matt to give it a try. All right. Who's the fourth burger for? She might come home. <laughs> and if she doesn't? Then you can eat it. Okay. <laughs> Don't be sad. <laughs> so we're trying them with some, uh, some chips here, too. Uh, just some ruffles. All right. The moment of truth. Here we go. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Is it cooked to your liking? Mm-hmm. Man, that was really good. Good. I don't like to speak with my mouth full, but that is an excellent, excellent, really tasty burger. That is a tasty burger. It is a tasty burger. Yes. Big thumbs up from me. I good. Like this one. We'll see how it compares to next week's. Yeah. Okay, so here's our menu for next week. Um, let you guys know. Sunday, where I'm making that most requested million dollar spaghetti that you guys all want to see. So that'll be Sunday. Uh, Monday, I'm making sausage, sauerkraut, and dumplings. Tuesday, chicken enchiladas. We got a burger on Wednesday. Then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are. We do leftovers. We do pizza. Usually make a pizza or order pizza. And then. Uh... Saturday then we, go, we out. go out. And that's something usually a little more special than McDonald's and stuff. Yeah, we don't get the fast food. We get like something. Something good. Good, yeah. Okay, so that is our first Bob Burger. Burger. Um, <laughs> out of the many, we're going to be doing these once a week and we'll see which one we like the best. Yep. Um, if you like what you see, give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Keep it safe. Keep it sexy. Uh, if you need our P.O. box for any reason, it's down below along with the recipe. And we'll see you next time on Where the Heck Are the Albans. Bye-bye.